Good morning everyone and welcome to the Camberley Judo Club Kettle Classes. My name's Danny Williams, I'm 2012 Olympian and 2014 Commonwealth Games Champion and I'm one of the coaches at Camberley Judo Club. Today I will show you a new skill in the time it takes to boil the kettle and during this lockdown period it's my aim to teach you basic fundamental skills of judo in these short daily videos so that you can practice each time you're waiting for the kettle to boil at home. Now today we're going to look at the fighting stance. Obviously this is the base of everything that we'll do and the fighting stance is really important so that we can be dynamic in attack and defence. I'd like you to stand with your two feet together and pretend that your toes are hanging off the edge of a curb. You're going to step off the curb with your strong side, I'm right handed, so it'll be with my right foot here, and I'm going to turn my toes towards my weaker side here. So for me, it'll be my left. Again, I'm right handed, so please, if you're right handed, mimic me. If you're left handed, do everything to the opposite. So I've turned my toes inwards just to where it feels comfortable. Now what I don't want to do is stay on a straight line here because I'm very vulnerable in these directions. So I'm gonna make sure that if someone was stood in front of me, they would be able to roll at least a tennis ball between my feet. So I make sure that I'm covered on all four points of the square. Now let's talk about simple biomechanics. My feet and the space between my feet is my base of support. Now, we're all different shapes and sizes, so our centre of mass, or our weight, will be in a slightly different place, but it will be somewhere, roughly, around the area of the bottom of the chest, top area of the stomach. Now I say to the kids in Camberley, imagine you've swallowed a bowling ball and that it's stuck somewhere around the top of the, uh, top of the stomach and the bottom of the chest area. That bowling ball, never leaves the proximity of the feet. It can stay inside the feet, towards the front foot, or towards the back foot, but if it goes too far forwards, too far backwards, then we're gonna be in trouble. Always remembering our connection with the floor. We're grapplers, so we want a slightly wider base of support. Remembering my connection with the floor here so I can be stable. Last point with the stance, hands up in that W shape here. That way, I'm making my sleeves small, I can parry and block my collars. In fact, yes I do keep a, uh, a judo kit in my kitchen. If I stay relaxed here, sleeves are big, can't cover my collars. Hands up in a W shape, sleeves are small, can parry, can block the collars, and the kit is also rounded off on my back, making it a lot, a lot harder for side grips or for top grips. Here. So what I want you to do today, while you're waiting for the kettle to boil, get into stance, just feel where your centre of mass is between the feet, making sure that those hands are up in that W shape all the time. And look, we beat the kettle. If you find that video useful, please follow Camberley Judo Club on all social medias, simply by following Camberley Judo Club.